Greetings everyone, this is the Hipster Snack, and today I'm trying out the demo for Eat Colors. I don't really know much about <laughs> this game, other than I saw the demo, it looks super cute, and it sounds like it's going to make me rip my hair out. All taken together, it sounds like it'll be a pretty fun time. I guess that's me. I'm pretty sure I play as little slime. Now, as I recall, the slime has certain limits. Like, I don't think you're supposed to be able to hold on to walls for too, too long. It's like really far jumps tend to disorient him as well. But it looked interesting enough for me to investigate. <laughs> <laughs> the stressed eyes uh, crack me up every time I see them. So far, so good. Getting kind of the hang of this. Whoa! I'm not doing that. Hi. Hi. <laughs> He, he took that really badly. Wow. Oh, wow. Now I'm a green slime? Oh. Oh, okay, I'll die even if I'm in drift mode for too long. Okay, so uh, we're serious. Okay. You wanna... Jumping in the same place doesn't reset time. Good to know. Whoops. And pop. <laughs> Don't do that. It's funny when it's black and white. It's not so funny now that I have a timer. This is very interesting, and I'm very much digging the music. I guess it gives you a brief moment to compose yourself before you get started. So you can kind of, ahead of time, you can kind of start planning on, whoops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> uh, I'm not, like, amazing at these games. My my Twitch reflexes are not what they used to be. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> like, you know, naturally you want to take the most logical path, and sometimes you don't think about the most logical path being anything other than a straight line down the hallway, right? I guess this is more a snake fails than a tries, right? Really, really into the soundtrack, though, I'll say that. Oh no. I should have gone down. <laughs> uh, if you're wondering, is it frustrating? The answer is yes. Yes, it is. Um, but, like, it's actually, it's fairly intuitive. Like, the game doesn't waste a lot of your time explaining what it expects from you. So, like, you kind of just get into it, and, and then you're, like, you're already playing, right? This may not be the best game to play if you have a uh, really bad anxiety, though, because, like, I don't, and I am, I'm already losing it. I'm stressing a little. <laughs> to achieve something, the line has to be within reach. As in... Oh, you can defeat enemies, but only if they're within the, the, the reach of the line. I, I understand that, but... Oh! Oh, hitting an enemy will uh, reset my ability to jump. That's interesting. I understand why the slime looks so stressed now. 
<laughs> when he's just kind of floating, it's just a matter of like, oh no, the countdown has begun, and nothing good is going to come of this. Especially because he has the bad luck of having to be in my care, and I'm an idiot, so... Oh no. Oh no, I did not mean to do that. Ah, oh, man. That's heartbreaking. I'm kind of getting into it. I'm kind of figuring out my many, many foolish mistakes. Oh, okay. That's what he means within the line. So the, the monsters can destroy me, but only if I hit them while I'm in a, in a drift. If I'm within the, the range of the line, then I can beat them and use them to propel myself. But only if it's within that, that limitation. No! I... Oh, I was just slightly off my mark. <laughs> ah, that's heartbreaking. I do like that the green kind of makes everything look like an old-school Game Boy. I'll be honest, I'm not particularly nostalgic for that era, since... The classic Game Boy is actually one of the things I kind of picked up more after the fact, but I think it's a really nice aesthetic touch. Really good stuff. Okay, now we got it. All right. <laughs> okay, let's see if I head this way-ish. a little bouncing, but I think we got it. Uh, apples down that way. It's nice that the tutorial leg of the game doesn't punish you excessively. Um, yeah, this is pretty tough. If you guys aren't up for a challenge, this may not be the game for you, I'll be honest. But if you're, you know, nothing like me, in which case, I mean, you know, you're actually good at video games, uh, whoops, you're probably just fine anyway. Like, it gives you enough slack. The problem is, it also gives you just enough slack for you to mess yourself up. What? I got that! I was literally on top of it! That's not cool! That's a little frustrating. Now, I did everything within the rules of the game, and I should have won, but they still took it from me. Jeez. Oh, dear. No, I'm just, I'm kind of just awaiting the comment section now, where it's going to be like, Oh, Snack, you, this is a rage game, and you're dumb, and you said you didn't like it. Like, ah, da, 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 da. Let's not get too overly pedantic about our terms and definitions here. Um, I mean, I'm, I'd call this a puzzle platformer, I think is fair. Now, is it a rage game? I don't know. It doesn't really feel like one, because... The rules are very fair and enforced very consistently, so I don't I don't know. Maybe I am dumb. I mean that's possible. This is me we're talking about. Yep. Well, better the timer than the spikes, I guess, but I still don't know where the actual goal is. That is something I'm gonna say about the level design is like a lot of the time, I'm actually not sure where I'm supposed to be going. Uh, a lot of the time, I'm just guessing based on, like, oh, it looks like the level is flowing in this direction, but there have been times where that hasn't worked, so... A couple, like an arrow or something, or maybe a quick overview, one of those things where, like, the map flicks by real fast and kind of shows you the general level layout. I think that sort of thing would be a uh, pretty fair compromise. 
I hope you guys don't crack under pressure. <laughs> really? Can I not? Nope, apparently if he's in that uh, panic state, that's not going to work. And looks like that red spiky bit would kill me, so let's not do that. Whoops. I actually kind of double-clicked there, but I guess it worked out. I was in just enough... Whoops. The right direction enough. Not so much with that red stuff. That stuff, uh... That, that wasn't so great. I can't just wait for the bus. Guess not. Give me some, uh, Mega Man vibes from the music, if I had to guess. This is one of those games that I, I think would actually make for a really interesting speedrun. Like, because there's lots of different ways. I've seen there's several different paths to clear each level. So it's like, there's there's got to be, like, ninja solutions that I'm just not thinking of because I'm a little bit too... Whoops. Um, I probably am thinking too straightforward to really get the most out of it. But there's probably people out there who would be, like, really good at a game like this, and they'd have, like, these crazy solutions that I would never think of, or... Like, they would know exactly how far an impossible jump is, so, like, they'd be able to do stuff that I would never dream of doing. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I'm panicking, so it's like... I guess my thoughts aren't, uh, super well organized at the moment. We... Oh, dear. That's a really tight call. <clears throat> now, it said something about jumps not counting if you jump from the same place, so I assume if you, like, jump one area and then back, it doesn't count? Oh, wait, did I do it? <laughs> I did it! Woo! That was pretty tough. Um, but it was also very forgiving, because, like, if you die, the levels are all relatively short, so it's kind of like when I played through, uh, Celeste. Like, even though each individual stage can be kind of tough, uh, it really wasn't all that terrible. <laughs> Total Death 18. Yeah, that, that seems about right. This is really good. Um, am I going to pursue it? Mm, no, probably not, if we're being honest. Uh, but this might appeal to some of you guys at home more than it does to me. Uh, I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. And you guys kind of got a good uh, taste of some of the obstacles the game's going to throw at you. So I, I'd say this one's good, uh, but I'm satisfied. That, that little uh, demo that I did... I'm good. I'm staking my victory on that. I don't need to prove anything to myself at this point. Uh, yeah, that was Eat Colors. If you guys are interested, the demo is on Steam. And I will leave a link below in the description so you guys can check it out for yourselves. This has been the Hipster Snack, signing off.